Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And Rockstar, well, Rockstar is forcing me to take a page of Maria Kondo's book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. Yes, it's, we have to take a look at our garages here and hold each car in our hands, figuratively speaking, and see if they spark joy. Because right now, as I'm recording this, um, shut up, Lester! Right now, as I'm recording this, it's it's January. You're not going to see this for a while, but when you do see this, it'll be now. Um, but it's January. The, the Chop Shop DLC has dropped, and no new garages were provided. Um, if you're on new gen, you can get a 100-car garage if you pay for GTA+. Plus. But, no, other than that, there's no, no new garages in sight until... I don't know, maybe this summer, maybe as you're seeing this, it will be uh, the case where I can get a new garage. But I'm going to need I'm gonna need parking probably between here and there. And so it's time to kind of review. It's time to, to look at what we've got. And it's not going to be a matter of, like, is it something I need? This is going to be what I want. It's, if I want to keep it, then I'm going to keep it. It's just that simple. But, you know, there, we're going to see. Is there anything that I look at and say, eh... Uh, or maybe we'll go through the, all the garages and say, you know what, this is the cars I'm going to have, and that's it. And if they don't give us parking, then I'm not buying any more cars. We'll, we'll just have to see what happens. There's nothing super compelling coming out that uh, that I'm planning on buying. So it's just a matter of what brings us joy. Let's start here. If I go to first person here. and We'll start here at my Entity XF. This was... The king of the road for the longest time. Now it's a mid-tier supercar, but I've won a lot of races with this. Every once in a while, I do take it back out and still win races with it. And I mean, I've had this is one of my oldest cars. I, I painted this when I was really kind of just into the whole Black Knight thing. I mean, as far as being just old, we'll drive black cars with a Black Knight. Not something I've stuck to, not for very long at all. But this is a very old car. Yeah, it's a, and uh, it's really nice to drive, not going anywhere anytime soon. This this baby's safe. Same with this car, I mean, the custom Saber Turbo, which I have years ago done up in this kind of Tron motif. Again, you can tell it's an old car. Again, it was a, it was a, based on a black color scheme. It's a very nice car to drive. Again, it was a king of the road for a long time. No longer, I think it's still competitive. I think you still take it out, but it it's not gonna it's, it's not gonna really bring it to the likes of the top top you know S tier racers and muscle class anymore. But I mean, it's not bad. It's good. Don't have any places you know any any places I want to send this. This is this is gonna stay. Kind of a theme going on here. LG again, king of the hill for the longest time. I've got a lot of wins with this car. You know, a lot of different paint schemes. I mean, right now it's in my kind of Wheeled Warriors sort of paint scheme. Uh, for a long time, this was in Steelers colors. Until pretty much that whole kneeling down debacle. I just didn't, I didn't watch football for a little while. It was just truly grating. You know, you, you just you just want a place where you can rest your mind. You don't want to have to think about all the other things. And this was, you know, all right, fine. But as far as the car is concerned, love the car. Still a lovely car drive. Not going anywhere anytime soon. This is a free car. King of the Hill for the longest time. It's a free car. The Duke of Death. I have a lot of Duke of Deaths. I could get rid of Duke of Deaths. It's again, another free car because originally I had purchased GTA V on Xbox 360. Never really played it because I didn't have... You know, a flat screen TV. I had a CRT. You ever try and play this on a CRT? Xbox 360 on a CRT? Not good for GTA. You have to read too much. You need you need some clarity. So, it wasn't until years after I was actually playing GTA Online on PC that I fired that up and then merged the accounts and unlocked the, this car so I could even have it. And, yeah, there, there's a couple different builds on this. This is, again, the black and chrome one. A very fast and furious looking sort of thing here. 
And I have on multiple occasions tried to talk myself into getting rid of some of my Duca deaths, and it just never happens. Love this car. Now this, we, we finally kind of break for at least this row. The, uh, the theme of old cars I've always had and will probably always keep. This one, not hot to get rid of it. It might actually be a FOMO car now. I'm not really sure. Okay, this is the, uh, yeah, the Dinka Sugoi. This car I have built up as an homage to what is apparently Bruffy 1322's real car. I, I don't think it has an orange interior. I don't know if it has an orange interior or not. We, he's never given me a ride in it. It's never pulled up out in front of my house when he delivers pizza. So I don't really know. Um, that is that is a Twitch inside joke, if you don't know that. He's not a pizza delivery guy. Nah says. But... You know, it's a funny thing. Nasa, I don't know if he's ever been brought into the fact that Bruffy is always being asked to deliver pizza. We should, we get, I'm gonna, that'll, that'll be something in a Twitch stream somewhere down the line. And I could say that here because it'll happen before you ever see this, because this is just going into the, the flow of videos. Um, again, sometime in June, I think, this will be going up, even though it's January now. So I don't really want to get rid of this Segoy. It's a funny thing for me. Something that I always imagine I will eventually bring to a meet or something or other. We'll, we'll see what happens. It, it was very nearly uh, brought to the, the the one he was making a thumbnail for uh, his new testing series. But instead I just brought a helicopter. So, brought my, brought my uh, recently acquired, I might add, um, Swift uh, Alpha Bravo there. But this one's staying. This is also staying, the Schlagen GT. I love driving this car. I love the sound of it. I love cruising in it. I love racing it from time to time. Even though it's not top tier, it's good. Powerful car. I've got it in kind of a... I think, I think there was a, a version of this in Top Gear where... This could probably go in the Top Gear garage. Where they had an electric version in this color. And it was just like... Love the color of it. This is staying. The bikes. Well, I don't really care. The bike. The bikes. You, you know, we're not we're not pressed for storage on the bikes. So the bikes stay. This has been on the bubble more than once. But I've had some good times in it. I like I like the wintry scheme here. I love this build. Not getting rid of my Comet Safari anytime soon. It's it's you know the the car itself is based on real stuff that's really kind of neat. So yeah, we're we're gonna keep this. Gonna keep this. You got you know. You, you got to have. I'm looking it up. The Omnis. I have. It's late at night. The uh, you gotta keep your Omnis. This is Bruffy's favorite car. How can I how can I be in the 1322 crew if I don't have an Omnis? You gotta have at least one. It does does drive nice. A little secret, I still think the Tropos is a better car. I admit though that this is in in many cases more fun to drive, but I think, you know, it's if I'm really pressed and I really gotta win, probably going Tropos over this. Although I mean there's other cars that are better than both of them, but like most of them are banned. Eh. If I'm in a stunt race, I'm probably probably taking at this point for off road uh prowess. Well, that's another garage. You got the clique. Now, this isn't my my holiday. This is a holiday clique in and of a sense. I believe I got this for free when it came out. I, I got the one with the bow. And this is one without the bow. I don't remember exactly how everything went. Great handling car. Great driving car. Still can be competitive. This is completely bespoke because you have to have the bespoke straps on it. To get, those are that's your spoiler. Now, unfortunately, due to some damage to my Thunderbird, where we're having very difficult times getting parts, stupid deer. Um, there is a kit that could turn the front end of my Thunderbird into something that looks like that. So this might be the closest thing I have to getting a T-Bird in game. I don't know if I do the front and back. Possibly. So this might be the close because they're not. I don't think they're ever going to put, you know, the T-Bird in game, the Fortune. I think it's called. 
I just don't see it happening. I've been waiting for so many years, and it just doesn't. So I don't know. But at any rate, uh, I love the clique. Clique is definitely staying. I've had a lot of good times with this as well. This is just too rare. I mean, this is difficult to get. You, you can only get this is the mariachi. Just because there's a tornado, I think. Yeah, the classic tornado. This is the mariachi tornado. And the only way you could get this is in like a, a rare uh, event. It's like a, a daily event that happens out in the mountains. You have to go in there at a certain time. And then there's like this Thelma and Louise moment where the Thelma and Louise will drive the car off the cliff like in the movie. But you have to shoot the driver first. Snipe them out of the car so they don't drive the car over the cliff. And then get away from the cops and get in the car and then get it down the mountain. It is, it is annoying as anything to try and get this. I have thought about repainting it because you can now you couldn't repaint it earlier before this. You couldn't you couldn't modify it. But now I guess you can do it in the back of an MOC or something. There was some change to how this works. Before all you could do is insure it. But since this is how I got it out of the game, I'm keeping it that way. That's been my plan. The Mariachi Tornado. So nothing here is leaving. Now, because because of something else Rockstar has done, and we're, le oh, we're leaving now, I guess. Okay. Because of something else Rockstar has done, it used to be you could just, if it's your car, you could just sell it. And you could only sell one stolen car per day. But your own cars, you could sell. And now they've just added something so that people don't glitch cars and just sell cars all the time. That if you're selling your own personal cars, the first car is full, you know, whatever half value you're going to get out of the normal, you know, whatever, whatever discounted price you're going to sell it on. But after that, it drops by like a 50% every, or some ridiculous amount every time. So like, if you were to sell a car that, let's say you had two cars, they're both worth a million dollars, you know, just to keep things simple in resale value. If you sell the first car, you get a million. If you sell the second car right after that, you get like half of that. You get like 500,000. At some point, it's like 50K. And like they keep, they keep, they make it so you can't sell cars quickly. So you can, I, I don't know if it's once per game day before the cooldown kicks out, or is it a regular day? I don't know. So here's how this series is going to work. I'm going to go through my garages like this with you. And let's, let's warp. And I'm going to do it just to stay organized. I'm going to use the Preferences tab and then just bump to the next garage so that I, I don't lose track of what's going on. And we're going to work in an invite only. And I'm going to do this and go through the cards until I find one that I need to sell. And then I'm going to sell it and that will be the end of the video could be one video like we could go through everything and not want to sell anything so, so we're taking a bit of a risk here but this is my plan this is what we're gonna do so here we are now we're at the greenwich parkway obviously we're not getting rid of the goat this is still king of the hill as far as i'm concerned in uh, in sports class especially for stunt races this thing hits the tubes and it just goes crazy it just starts flying. So, yeah, no, the GOATs, the, the GTO, the Italian GTO has gone nowhere. Love that car. Now, this is just a regular ISSI. And you can say, well, you could get this off the street. And I did get this off the street. I forget. It got me out of a jam because I grabbed it and escaped with something. Or that. And I, I know I've got at least one stunt jump with it. I think, I think it was this, this was the one I got the stunt jump down... At the airport, the jump they always do for the G frets. I did that this, you know, with this, and it's it's got a place, it's got a place in my heart. Yeah, you gotta keep your go kart, don't you? I like the go kart. It's a cute little go kart. We're gonna keep that. I just like it. It's got kind of Richard Petty colors there. I think that's crew blue. So we're good. That's not going anywhere. This, now this is the the rare 
uh, skinless, like there, with no body panels, uh, dune buggy. The only way you can get this is you have to get another dune buggy and drive it through a certain place up in Polito Bay and have it spawn in. And so, rare car, you can only get off the street, can't buy it at all. This says Doom Buggy, but it's a special version of it, so we're not going anywhere with that. This one, yeah, it's just Assault and RS. But this is, I have to get a, a plate on this that says Baza at some point. This is my homage to uh, one of the guys we used to play uh, Microsoft Freelancer with, who was famous for, you know, being into anime cat girl kind of stuff. Or whatever next level beyond just anime to where when we were turned 18 we hoped that whatever equivalent of the Australian Federales would not come for his uh, his hard drive. At least that was the running gag is that he had a lot of anime porn. I don't know. Um, don't know if that was true. It was a running joke. All of his... Um, all of his avatars and stuff like that were like anime cat girl kind of thing. So this was just, this is the Bazimobile. He was a nice guy. He was good to hang out with. Fought him many times in the skies over over Hamburg in Microsoft Freelancer. Him and, him and his brother, Phil. Leader of the Freelancers United or Clan FU. So this is, this is, this has got some some serious, you know, call back to the olden days. So we're not getting rid of that anytime soon. These two, now these two are tricky. This might be the point where we get rid of stuff. Because you know what? I have to. I have another project. These were free. I probably won't get any, hardly anything out of them. Except parking. But I, 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 these, I was able to get them for free. These have been on the bubble before. Because they were kind of, these are in the, the corporate, the corporate colors of base for, for what I was doing for a while there, the neon tetra look. But that's two spaces. I have two. I have two green ones. I have the lemon. I can always redo anything as anything here. Obviously, I can't replace them for what I got them for here for free, but these, these I think may go by the end of this video. Let's, we'll see. Club, Club Stay, and that's the number one. That's the, the the king of the hill right now in compacts. You may see it repainted around different things, although I do like the paint job for right now. I don't really have any thoughts on it, so. Club's going to stay. This, I thought, when I was first here, you can see this is another black with a, a pearlescence. It was a, this is another early car. Stolen off the road. Back in the early days. I thought the Santa Alexis was king of the hill for coupes, and because obviously it should be, because it looks the raciest. It's not, you know. I think it, it might be back in the day. It might have been third. Now it's not even close. Can I get rid of this on a practical basis? Yeah, but again, it's another one of those cars. It's a memory car that I did a lot of stuff with. I don't even know if I did any racing with it, because who the heck races coupes? But I was ready for this back in the day. Before I discovered the Zion, and you'll see the Zion later on. That's not going anywhere either. It's a spoiler alert. Oh, the pole position car. This is one I considered getting rid of. Because where am I going with it? It's, it's not very... It's one, it's one of the slowest cars in the compact class. It looks cool. It's a nice, it's a nice decoration. Do I need it? Uh, and I have somewhere I have the wide body version. Or do I have it just on one character and the other? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to get rid of it right now. But I think, I think I have to get rid of these two. So watch this. We're going to, you're going to see how little money I'm going to get for this. It is pretty heinous, if, if we're honest. And I think it, I, I don't think it is a FOMO car. Is it a FOMO car? It's a four door. I 
he might be. They might have pulled this one. I kind of have a rule that I'm not getting rid of. I don't care if it's even if it's a duplicate. I'm not getting rid of any FOMOs. Not going to be off road. Is it a legendary? Legendary four door. Oh, gang, gang, we're we're not doing this one. Not doing this one. I could do the other one, but that's uh, it's neither here nor there. Kind of keep. I'm gonna keep the set. Screw it. They bring me joy of some nature that I can't quite describe. I have to find a use for them. I mean, you can see how little they're worth. I mean, this one, let me, let me do the, let me check the website here. They didn't pull this from Warstock. I think this is a Warstock, right? Yeah, Nitric still 1.2 million, but. Which isn't that much. For me at this point so i could always get this one back maybe this is the one we'll sell because i have i have the lemonade man nightmare why don't i want to sell this i mean we could i can show you how how uh how little i'll get for it because i think this this was a freebie it's a freebie, so you're only getting half the value of the upgrades. Liveries are available. We can always redo it in a different look. Repair it. All cleaned up. So let's go to sell. A hundred and fifty thousand. No, I'm not. I'm not selling this for a hundred and fifty thousand. I'm just not. Just, that's just deleting it. I mean, you know. All right, we move on to the next garage. Excuse me. Yeah, you can see I'm not very good at holding it in your hand. It doesn't bring you joy because all this stuff, all this stuff brings me joy, which is good. You stay right here. Let us warp to the next garage. Weasel Plaza, which is my most recent acquisition. I'm not even sure what's in Weasel. I remember moving cars there, but... All right. Okay, my BFA, that's right. This All of this stuff had come from up uh, in Polito Bay. This was my off-road, go-up Chiliad kind of garage, and now they all got moved downtown, so they're all fishes out of water. But this this black and yellow uh, BF and Dick, that's not going anywhere. I love that car. It is fun to drive, and it's a keeper. And it's an old car. I've had it for a long time. Is it even insured? It is. Okay. Camacho. Love driving the Camacho. I think I'm going to repaint it at some point. The black cherry paint is not calling to me as much as used to, although it's not bad. It still looks good. I'm just I'm thinking about it. The Merryweather Maces. I mean, I got like three of them. This one's the one of the ones I funked out, and I think this is the Sprunk Crew. With just a clashing wheel combo, not getting that. That's they're hard to get because you have to like get mercenaries on called on you and then kill them and then take their stuff and then park it. It's it's a it's a hard thing to get. So that's not going anywhere. As a matter of fact, it's insured yet. I have some stuff that you can't insure later on, but the Nagasaki Hot Rod Blazer. Man, I don't use that for anything. It's just here to look cool. I don't, but I think it might be. This might be a, another FOMO. Let's see, off-road. 
Uh, was it considered a motorcycle? Yeah, I don't think this is... You can't get this anymore, I don't think. So that that's going to stay. Right, we're going to keep that. Obviously, we're going to keep, you know, the... Uh, what the heck is this even called? Everon? Yeah, Everon. This is one of my Top Gear North Pole special cars. Yeah, I can put it in the Top Gear uh, garage, no problem. I, the only reason it was kept up north is so I could drive it up to you, I you know, it's a Good car, keeping that. This is the Doom Buggy that I used to get the other Doom Buggy. And because it has, you know, it, it gave me that, I kept it. Um, I want one with the body and one without. I like the orange. That's staying. So much brings me joy, and that's why I have no parking. This is, um, what the heck is it called? Yeah, the Chameleon. Chameleon is one of the, uh, it's a weird car. With a weird paint job that I put a lot of work into. And you've probably seen that video already. This puppy is another one you can only get if you're a returning player, I believe. There's some, they may have made it available later on. There was some... It was hard, impossible to get unless you had like a collector's edition. And then they eventually made it available to everybody. That's not going anywhere. I like that car. It's is it great to drive? It's not bad. It's interesting and it looks cool. That's good enough. Most of these things are just garage decorations anyway. So how do you want to decorate your garage? Okay. Now this one we could get rid of. It's just a plain common. But this is this is supposed to be. Uh, Friedman's uh, Comet from the single player, which should be parked next to yes, Friedman's car from the, the, the what you call it from the, the the DLC. So we have our Friedman cars here. We're not we're not going to get rid of those. It's like we've stolen two cars from him. This one was jacked off the road. Now you know, heaven knows. You can always just imagine role play that it was his, and whether someone else got it eventually, I don't know. Before, when you got this one, perhaps. We've got the Friedman cars stored here at Weasel Plaza. They're not going anywhere. This is my GT500, and it's cool. It's good to drive. It is based on one of my matchboxes. Not going anywhere. Another garage down. Wow, this is this could be a long video, gang. Okay? It'd be not a series of videos, just a long video. Okay, Tinsel Towers 42. I don't think they can get out of that either. Online. Find new session. Invite only session. Tinsel Towers, by the way, a little bit of trivia, my favorite apartment. This particular apartment. I know, I think on, on Rusty Jack's, it's, a, it's in the same building, but it doesn't have the same floor layout. This has got the, the single floor layout. Uh, whereas, you know, on his, uh, on this character, it's got, on this character has a single floor layout. His is like the same floor layout as my Del Perro apartment. So this is my favorite apartment. Um, Felzer. This is the car that, you know, Ruffy once said, if you don't have a Felzer, what are you doing with your life? And I got it for that reason, and I'm glad I got it for that reason, because now you can't get them. Now they're FOMO. One of the most, you know, historic cars in, in GTA racing, and they got rid of it. And I'm not getting rid of mine. Now, this isn't a Duke of Death. It's just a Duke's, and this is my Luigi. As I recall, I couldn't put the Luigi plate. Oh, I did. This one, got, I had to put Lu1G, because if you put Luigi, it says it's reserved for another player. That's one of my Luigi cars. Done up with the Italian flag. This is the other. I got really into this this green color for a while. Luigi. <laughs> of course, if you have Luigi's, well, we'll get to that. Now, this uh, this blista. Has won me a lot of races. Before, you know, the club came around. And even the Blista Kanjo. I mean, when the Blista Kanjo came out, that won me a lot of races, too. I have a whole video comparing the cars. And this existed at the same time as the Brioso, but the Brioso has some critical flaws that cause it to spin out in tubes. 
and on stunt tracks in general, just spontaneously spin the heck out. So even though it's the better car, it's, yeah, it's kind of, they're kind of broken. And I have sped away from entire fields of Briosos with this thing. It's got a very high top speed. It's good for stunt uh, tracks. It won't hold the candle of the club. But I, I've had too many good times with this. To, uh, I'm, I'm keeping them. My, and yet you can only get this off the street. I don't, I don't think you can ever have bought this. You can get it off the street. This is my original Sentinel. One, this, this is like second or third car I got off the street. It turns out I think it's actually faster than the XS around Ruffy's track. But I could be wrong. I have to look it back up. They're close. Again, old car, a lot of sentimental value. I'm keeping that. Like that one a lot. Nice convertible. And this was my original Futo that I had done up like the initial D Futo. Okay? And I like this car. And you say, well, how come it's in the wild uh, the wild paint scheme now, the the anime paint scheme? The reason is is that when and the the new Fudo, what the heck is the Fudo GT? Uh, the Fudo what letters? The new, the new one that came out with the tuners update. That one you could do up pretty exactly like the initial D car. So then I had I had two initial D cars. So this one I said I like Fudos. Fudos are just something I like to have. They're a, they're they're a thing. So here we have it. it it's kept. Ah, it's like almost 1 o'clock in the morning. So this is the time I get to do quiet videos like this. The, um... Yeah, not going anywhere. Now here you got the Sentinel Classic. In the Ron livery. I did have two of these. I believe I've already liberated one of them. We have, uh... We have already done some... So this is, I believe, on this character. This may be my only Sentinel Classic. It is competitive. I, it's a nice driver. Not going anywhere anytime soon, especially with this round livery. Looking good. Got the surf blue with diamond pearlescent. It's all it's all done up properly. I like it. This is the Mario. Now I've I've repainted this to be a little bit less aggressive. It used to have almost the same paint scheme as this with blue and bright red. But it was hard to look at, to be perfectly honest. So I decided to make this Mario a little bit, a little bit more toned down. Is that the V12 or just a regular? Yes, yeah, the V12. Shafter V12 is still you know, a top car for some situations. Very high top speed, and that's the Mario number one. And then we get that. Let's see, is that with the one? No, it says, it says Mario. Might might be a zero on the Mario. And this is my other Mario. Hey Mario, um, he's a me, a Mario. Spins out like anything. You really, it's man. I, I, I'm hard pressed to find a reason to drive it, but I'm not giving it up because it's Mario. I've got the two Mario and the two Luigi. How can you give up one? You can get it. No, they got to stay together. You're Mario, Luigi, Mario, Luigi. This is, of course, you know. My Sprunk Cola Battle homage car. This came out, uh, the livery came out during the Oma the, uh, the whole battle for you had to, who could drink more Sprunk or E. Cola. I still think the fix was in on that. I'm convinced more people were drinking Sprunk. But, yeah, this car comes out periodically. I like, ha I like having a couple different hot ring racers, because I do a lot of hot ring racing, so... You see the theme here. Nothing really going, is it? No, that's we're going back down to preferences. I'm hoping to find a car to get rid of. So I can go to bed. Eclipse Tower. That's not going to be, not going to be this one, Daddy O. We're not gonna. I think Eclipse is safe. There are good stories. There we go. Eclipse. This should be have big, burly 4x4s, if I recall. I haven't taken advantage of renaming the garages. It's just, I like to know where they're at. There was a time I tried to keep 
a uh, a Duke of Death in every uh, apartment in case I had to pull out with a griefer. And this is this has has a funky paint job on it. You know, with this red over gold giving it kind of a rose gold or something kind of effect. I like it. Not going anywhere. And then you get into the Patriots. Now, the Patriots are funny. This is not insured. Okay? And the reason it's not insured is if I take this into uh, a Los Santos Customs or anywhere else to be insured, it will automatically strip the, uh, the Boulevard off of it. You can't put it back on. So this is unique. It's a unique, uh, a unique vehicle that I keep in here, and it will never leave. It is just a decoration. It's you could drain the oil out of this. It's not going anywhere. Not that these things have actual oil; they have pixels. But that's uh, that's going nowhere. I'm not going to take the risk of taking. Take it outside; it gets blown up. It's gone. And so, yeah, I could just grab another one off the street, but we're not going to we're not going to do that. I got this one. It's in this configuration. This here, now do you notice this doesn't have the bull guard? I didn't grab it with the bull guard, but I, dis I did grab it with, in this configuration with the headlights here, with the top lights, and with the side pipes. I bring this into a, uh, a Los Santos Customs, those get stripped off again, but I had gotten this one before that was happening. Before they kind of did whatever update to the, the Patriot. To give it those, you know, squared lights at the top that don't work. I don't even know if these work. But this isn't sure. I could take it out. It's got kind of an, an orange and brown kind of... There's a, it's an orange and mix. I forget. I was shooting for root beer. It didn't quite work out that way. It was more like kind of a mix of orange soda. I, I, I'm happy with it. This can't go back in and be modified at all. And it will strip everything off of this. And this So this car will be this color... It will be. It will have these lights and these side pipes forever. Does it have a black night plate? It does. I'm very fond. I was always very fond of uh, the Patriots from from day one. Why a Patriot like this? There's part of me that wants one in real life, but then you know, logically, I I know it's just a Tahoe that's been duded up to have probably worse gas mileage because it's heavier. I'm sure it's really comfortable with, like, probably 11 miles a gallon. I had a Trailblazer, so I know pretty much how it probably felt, and it felt nice. I like the Trailblazer. It drove great. But we got 13 miles a gallon out of that puppy and two transmissions. No, I'm not, yeah, I'm not getting it run in real life. But here's this one. This one's insured. And it's stripped down to nothing. Because that's what happens when you bring them in, and they just take all the pipes or whatever it is off of it. I'm keeping this one because if they ever fix that glitch and stop stripping stuff off, well, then you, this will be rare in and of itself. And it's got the crew over chrome paint job, I believe. I don't think it's just straight up chrome. No, it's you can tell by the door handles. This is uh, crew over chrome with crew uh, wheels. So, so we got three Patriots here. That seems, like, darn silly. I think I have more on my other character. But, yeah, we're not getting rid of any of those. They all bring joy. Joy. That's what it's all about. Joy. Not about practicality or need. It's joy. This one has history. This was my Dubsta. It's fully upgraded. You can see it's got the wheel on center. You notice I don't appear. I'm a vampire! Okay, no, it's, um... I appear at all? Do I even reflect... If I change this to the, do it, no, I get apparently my character is a vampire. Okay, but I got I I've painted this one myself because this one I was trying to use for the longest time to get the Dubsta two to spawn. I didn't realize you need another absolute Dubsta two to do this. And there is a video somewhere on the channel with me and Mr. Bonkers trying to screw around with this car. And I ended up just painting a, a mix of the two colors you can get from that. So that's that. That's a you know this car's got history. Not going anywhere. I have to take this one out more often. Oh, the Lego car. The Lego car. It looks like it's made of Legos. There's literally no reason to use this vehicle over you know the the the, the armored. Uh, 
you know, the, the custom insurgent pickup. Custom insurgent pickup is better in every way. Except it's got really kind of a unique, funky gun mount on the top. And it looks like it's built out of Legos. That's why I painted it this way, so because it looks like it's made out of... Look at it. It looks like... The, look at the fenders. I mean, it looks like you just, it looks built out of... I'm going to build one of these out of Legos some of these, one of these days. It's going to be like five Legos. It's like it's going to be real simple. <laughs> so I'm not getting rid of the Lego machine here. But I should, I should get a... Does it have a plate? I don't think it has a plate. Does it have a plate? It does have a plate. If I, I'm almost out of plates, but maybe I'll make one that says Lego and we'll put that on there. This is uh, one of the Meriwether Maces. Is this in charity? It is. But uh, it's another one where I had to kill people to get it. Off the street kind of thing. It was complicated. This is how they come. This is the actual paid scheme. Keeping that because of that reason. Trophy truck. I don't need to tell you, trophy truck's just a good thing to have. Good rate, good rate. Good rate. Certain tracks it's just great on. Sometimes you just want to drive a trophy truck. Couldn't make the decision between the trophy truck and the uh, the Desert Raid. I'm always going back and forth whether I should keep stock wheels with the stock wheels match the stock wheels. We put off-roaders on this at some point. That's how it is now. We'll see how it stays. Performance between the two is extremely close. I mean, I think it might be the same... It's absolutely the same files. There might be a slight difference. Uh, interesting thing about the Desert Raid, it's four-wheel drive, but there's no pumpkin. Like, there's nothing driving. There's no axle driving the wheels, but they spin. Very weird. I like it. You. Hmm. See, now this car actually doesn't bring me that much joy. It is one of the top off-roaders, and if I ever get good with it, it would be a good thing, but it's a lot like the Brioso, where it tends to, it's very twitchy and it snaps around, and I don't like it. I never drive it. But it is in University of Scranton colors, so it has that going for it. And I feel like as a, a regular racer, you, know, you got a regular racer who's sold as vagrant. It's like, there's, you know, what's wrong with you? You should be mastering this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up keeping that. So it's another garage where we kept everything because we just can't give it up. Can't give it up. Okay, Supply Street. What's going to happen to us at Supply Street? I'm really, really regret because now that would be a good time to say, hey, that was enough cars to look at for now, but we're, we, we want to go till we sell one. Maybe I'll sell none. There is one car I know I'm going to sell, but... I don't know where it's parked. <laughs> We'll be parked in Supply Street. I doubt it. But you never know. I want to go to bed. All right. Let's go through these. The 190Z. Love that car. You know, all the sports classics are just so just likable. Look at it. I mean, just look at it. Beautiful car. I remember when I was young, when these things were new, I, I, I was in that... America kind of phase that all of me and my friends were in where it was like, you know, this was not as good as, you know, whatever Camaro or whatever else you could find. But the truth was, I mean, the the, the 240Zs and the 280Zs are something special. And uh, I can't appreciate it now. I'm definitely hanging on to that one. Now, the Felon, you should, you know, the Felon Convertible, first of all, not as fast as, is this, a, is this considered the GT? The Felon, Felon GT is not as fast as a Felon. It's, there's, and it has a tendency to roll over, and it's just basically not a very good coupe. It's just, you wouldn't want to, there's no reason for me to keep the Felon GT, except its natural license plate has TBK in it, the Black Knight. So, I felt like that was a sign. I gave it, the, as soon as I could get the gold paint scheme, I gave it the gold paint scheme and the custom wheels and this and that. I think I, think I had those. And it's a keeper. We're, we're, we're keeping that one. Um, now, the the route loader, this is one of those rare grab-it-off-the-street kind of things where it's a rare find on the road. And because of that, it's like, okay, we grab this. I'm a collector of these kind of things. We've got the, one of the off-the-street custom rat loaders. And I'm keeping that so it's because of reasons. That's why, because I like it. Oh, this one. 
This is, I believe, now a FOMO car. The Stanier. I got the Stan. I, I pulled this off the street, and you can see, you can tell it's one of the old cars. It's black, with like a pearlescent over it. This is early Black Knight days. This is my didn't know what was going on. Reading stuff on the forums before I'd found Bruffy that said that people like this because it's very durable and in sedan races. Like, first of all, who races sedans? It doesn't come up very often. Um, more to the point, it's not anywhere near competitive. It does drive nice. I am tempted to redo this in, in a gold kind of color scheme to match the Grand Marquis that of the rental that my wife and I used when we left our uh, left our wedding or uh, you know celebration there. Our wedding reception. We let we had my parents drive my car home. We drove that because you know there's a tradition of doing stuff to the the honeymooners car before they leave i remember my buddy paul they actually gift wrapped the whole thing in newspaper i have pictures of that somewhere and i'm thinking nobody was going to do that to my my thunderbird and uh i knew my, my brother-in-laws i think we're talking about doing something i was like no no it's so we got a rental that nobody knew what we we're driving out in and we we took that and it was a nice car I've often thought about getting a Panther body, but because it's a cool car, and this is because the Panther body would be having the 4.6 liter V8 that I has in my T-Bird. It's another one of those close as I could get kind of cars. So I'm not getting rid of that anytime soon. This Steeler Mobile I grabbed off the street exactly as it is. I'm pretty sure everything. I, I, I gave it all the performance upgrades, but. This is how it came. It's another rare grab off the street car. And the Ruger is a nice car to have. It just it's again not the top of the muscle class. But I mean again just look at it. It's it's just it's a ruiner. I mean, you got to have a ruiner. Oh, the tyrant. I believe I have two tyrants. I know I have two tyrants on my other character. This may I only have one on this one. I'll have to look. We'll see as things go on. But the Tyrant is just a fun car. This is what you pull out when you're getting knocked off the road a lot. It takes up a lot of space. It's huge. It's heavy. It's got this 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 nose on it that just, just launches cars left and right, in my experience. you got to have a Tyrant, because every once in a while, you just need a Tyrant. Very grippy. I like it. Love the colors. The tyrant, it's in royal purple. I think I have a Tyrant Royal Purple, and then on Rusty Jack, I have one in gold, because Tyrant. And then I have a white one that I want off the wheel that you're not going to get any money for anyway. So I have two, I have like three Tyrants, and I'm keeping them all. That's just... It brings joy. The Banshee, you know... Is the Banshee a... Uh, is the Banshee still here? Can I still get a Banshee? You still get a Banshee. 105. It's cheap. You know why I got this Banshee and built this Banshee? It was because I was expecting PC to get HSW, and we didn't. And if I could HSW this puppy, it'd be one of the fastest things in the garage. And so I hold on to it for that. I hold on to it too because Banshee is just, if you go back to the days of GTA 1 and 2, it was the fastest thing going. You gotta have a Banshee. Okay, I'm keeping the Banshee, even though I have a 900R, which you'll see at some point. Ah, look at that! The 900R. The green machine. I have had... This car has performed above and beyond what it should be able to do in so many races for me. I may have to do some green machine racing at some point. Just just to do it. Just to take it out on the track. Again. Because it's got such a good history. It's a keeper. I love this car. I love the green machine. Did, did, did I ever put a custom? Did it just say Black Knight? Yeah. No, it doesn't. It has Pwn on it. Okay, yeah, it's, yeah, it's Pwn's people. I, I have beaten cars that this should not be able to beat with this car, and that's it's good memories. What we got here? The Shinkomelia? Yeah. 
This is one of the Meta cars. This is a Meta Coupe, I believe. Or is it Meta Sedan? Meta Sedan or Meta Coupe? Is it, which is it? It's a Chico Mille. Sedan. This is one of the Metas. One of the fastest ones going. I love the paint scheme on it. This is, again, it goes into that same green that's on uh, the Luigi's. But with faded out from this purple front end. Love that car. With the mercenary wheels. Not going anywhere. And, of course, the the Valera. The Verily Early Early Era, as they would say it. Which is based on a TVR. And you got to have at least one TVR. And I forget why I made this thing, like, just egg yolk. It's the shape of egg yolk. Yep, all these, all these are safe. They're all safe. Maybe everything's safe. Maybe I'm just, this whole thing of, well, we're going to keep going through garages until I find a car to sell is just going to turn into just a one giant video. Ah, oh, exceptionalist way. There's at least one career I should get rid of, and I'm probably not. Okay. So, the slightly slower, but better handling version of the Elegy. Elegy is not, it's not as a, Elegy Retro Custom. Not as fast as an Elegy. But I do love this. This is, again, with the, with the uh, red over black paint scheme. Actually, with a few that has a crew logo on it. One of the few cars with the pink wheels that matches up so well. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of that. There are, there are places for this. I I don't know where. I've never used it. I should bring this one out, too. Burger Shot is a freebie that will always be there. I should get rid of this. Well, I mean... But, I mean... Uh, come on. It's, it's so classic. Bleeding tasty. Bleeding hamburger. Getting your hamburgers medium rare. Not a safe thing to do. No, it's not. I mean, I think I'd meet, I, had some, I had some rare steak tonight. Pretty, it was pretty rare I mean, that, that I put together. But, yeah. No, I, I can, in theory, if I was really, 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 really pressed, get rid of the burger shot. Don't want to. Piss of Oster Dominator, which is I did with the root beer color here because, you know, it's, it's a beer label, but then you could say it's root beer. That was like Lion Brewery down around here. They have a good root beer. They went to root beer during Prohibition to keep the place open. And so I would like to think there's a Piss or root beer that you can get like, like that. This is not a car I will drive in comparison to anything else because it's just hard to drive. I don't even know if it's in Ruffy's Top 10 anymore. I'll have to look at see. I think he was coming up with a video on that or he has a list somewhere. There is something. Where he was coming up with something new, but uh, it, it was at one point. But because I love Dominators in general, I keep the Piss Foster Dominator. Oh, and you got my Petty Hot Ring Saber. That's not going anywhere. Petty Colors. Richard Petty. A lot of good memories here, too. And it gets used regularly. Now, that's not going anywhere. And this one. Is this the Tulip or the Vamos? It's the Tulip. Which is the one that's really horrible? I think it's the Vamos. I think it's the Vamos where it just randomly... Yeah, the Sassentian Vamos is what they have on uh, Project Homecoming where they make it just randomly steer. Like it's, it drives where it wants. The Tulip is better. It's not a great car, but it's, I, it, it's a great looking car. And this is one of those that I do intend is to keep keep around this baby. Yes, it's days have passed it. This RE7B, I don't even know how many liveries I've had on this. Now it's in kind of a Ron. The Stancia Ron kind of thing. Ron colors a Stancia livery. I may put this back to the, the plain yellow and chrome wheels that it had. when I, I forget what video it was in where... I was called uh, that douche in the yellow car. Won the race. 
and that's what the guy referred to me as. So I've got a lot of wins on this car. It's I'm loyal to it. It's staying. Oh baby, the Wagner. The Wagner's still a sublime ride. It can still take it to the to almost anything. I think if, on paper, no. But man, it's so good. And this has been repainted several times too. Now it's in the the Ron liveries along with the the, the RE seven B. That's not going anywhere. The Pariah. The, this this one inspired the original. Uh, my my thoughts of going to this uh, neon you know neon tetra paint scheme. Look at it. It looks like a neon tetra. The crew of uh, it's got the blue crew over chrome. And the chrome kind of gives it those, you know, it lightens up the, the secondary stripes. And we've got the red, uh, the red wheels to pull more red out of it. And the back, you can see there, the whole second. It's it's just so heinous. And still a good car. I mean, there may be days when I take this out as a bold choice. But yeah, it's not going anywhere. Um, we got the Easter ETR one. It's still done up in Easter colors. Only time it comes out is for Easter. It looks like an Easter egg. Look at that stand. This is, of course, the love bug you get from doing the mission. So it's a collectible as far as I'm concerned. you got to have that slammed for uh, proper handling. That's how you get them to handle, apparently. That's a requirement. So, but that's fine. That's the only real visual mod I think I made on that. I thought maybe I had to put a spoiler on it. So that's not going anywhere. These cars, they were all safe. The Tulip, if that was a Vamos, I was going to say that, that that would be the one that I should get rid of, but I'm not going to. Dooby dooby doo doo doo. Next garage, please have something that I could get rid of because I'm really tired and I want to go to sleep. Please, I'm tired. Please have some crappy car. Here's what we're gonna do. If we get to May's Bank, if we get to May's Bank, the point in the thing, and we haven't sold the car yet, then we're gonna stop. All right. You got the regular Karuma, which was very useful to me uh, for a little while there when it was completely bulletproof, even more bulletproof than the armored Karuma because of a glitch. Now that's been fixed, but still, nice car. I, could I get rid of it? Yeah, it might be a. This might be a, a, a FOMO car. I'm not real sure, so I'm not gonna. And you got. I, I like it. You got like a Karuma. It tends to flip, but. Sylvestra? Yeah, Sylvestra. No, the Sylvestra is a nice, nice set of wheels. You got. To, you know, you get. You gotta keep this baby. Just to take throw something out there as a bold choice every once in a while when you're doing. Uh, when you're doing sports classic racing with the hopefully you know some friendly people just to throw everybody off and we got a pair of retinues we got a, Mar a mark two and a mark one that's a mark one right yeah so this is the faster i think of the two not necessarily by much but retinues are ones you gotta have so especially if you do any kind of you know sports classic racing especially in the stunt stuff Periodically, I just race them just to race them because they're fun. They're not. They're not necessarily going to take it to a Turismo Classic, especially if you got HSW, which I don't because I'm on PC, and apparently PC is just old gen. What the heck are you thinking, Rockstar? We're we're PC. We're the PC, you know, master race. You should be taking care of us. I mean, you got to make money off of us. There's no question about. It. Maybe they're not. Maybe all the modders are. Making, they're not making as much money off PC, so they're not trying. I don't know. Modders are making it a problem anyway. I don't know. But we're keeping those two. I um, mean, the Draugr is the standard bear, I think, for off road stuff. It's huge. It can be a little bit tough to hustle around because it's huge, but I mean, as far as its performance is concerned, it's fantastic. And it looks psychotic. So, I mean, well, we, how could you not get, you know, how can you not keep a psychotic car like that? This is, I have to punch the button up to see. DR1. Highest top speed of any of them. I mean, there's certain tracks where that's going to be the one to take. 
I feel like I never really even did anything with this. Like, it's fully upgraded. I never, I just left it blue. I didn't put any kind of uh, livery on I didn't give it a theme. It's wildly expensive and it's not going anywhere. This car. It is, on paper, the best of the open wheelers and I can't drive it. Man... It's just too long or something. It doesn't want to turn in for me. It looks beautiful. It is going to, it's a garage uh, decoration because I cannot make it go around a turn very well. I, I end up doing better with my, um, what the heck is the black one? We'll get to it. You'll see it. These are all letters. What the heck is that? It? I know the letters. I just can't come up with them right now. We'll get there. Darth. Any car that inspired its own plate. Flash GT. Yeah, that's staying. It's Darth Vader. Every once in a while, I'll take that out. Oh my goodness. You know, the Sultan. This Sultan. I've had. This is another one of those from, from like very early in the game. I got this. Very nice to drive. I, I've used this on so many occasions. Is it going to win me a race? No. Will I race it periodically? Probably. Just to, just to see. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, uh, the Raptor. Can you still, is this, is, has this been removed? Legendary motorcycles. Can you still get a Raptor? Is it considered a car? Is it considered one of these cars? Because I'm not getting rid of anything that's FOMO. I could get rid of this, though. I mean, emotionally. Is this considered... This, no, this is considered, like, sports or something, isn't it? It's not ridiculous. We'll never do anything. Uh, it's FOMO. They FOMO'd this. That's what saves you, Raptor. I can't get another one. So you're safe. We move on to the next garage. This is getting... Dang, this is taking a long time. Wild Oats Drive. That's not thinking anything's leaving Wild Oats Drive, either. What time is it? Heaven's to Murgatory. It's quarter to two in the morning on the Saturday. Well, now it's Sunday the 7th. It's Epiphany. There's a raging snowstorm outside. And my epiphany is for tonight is that I'm not getting rid of any of these cars. Autark, it's too good. I regularly race this. It's very good. I do love it. Ditto. And it even looks better. I mean, you know, I, the Autark's a better performing car. Tegon is just a favorite of mine. I've had, I've had some incredible luck with the Tegon. I've had some good, good winning race. I've won races with this where, I, again, on paper shouldn't win. But the Tegon's a good car. Better car, it's an underestimated better car than what it is. That's staying. Bullet is, again, one of my oldest cars. Here it is in some kind of inexact... Um, Ron livery, kind of a golf livery. I think the bullet was done dirty with its design as far as its performance. But I will not get rid of my bullet. I love this bullet. I love the way it looks. Ignis. But the Ignis is like one of those cars it's like so much it's like so much like an XO, but not quite as fast on the top end, but it handles a little bit better. I could get rid of this, but I mean I I'm it's a strange thing. I think I actually prefer driving this over the XO. But not as much as many other cars. It's not the weaponized Ignis. It's the it's the peace-loving Ignis. And for that alone, I think I keep... What the heck? Which one is this one? 770. 770 is one of those cars. That, again, it's very good... As far as feel and all that kind of stuff, as I recall, last time I drove it, it looks really nice. Can't think of a reason other than bold choice racing to uh, to, to race it. 
But it's in that green I like, and I'm not getting rid of it. So there's that. It brings joy. The, uh, what the hell is that? The Hellion. This drives nice, and I, I remember building this up in this kind of brown with the panels to make it bulletproof from the back. As I recall, it, it's a good car. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. It brings joy. Oh, now this. The Tally GTB, I was trying to remember if that's the custom or the, I have to look it up to see if it's the custom or the stock. The Tally GTB is one of those th cars that I want to master. Because, again, it's one of those cars that's supposed to be very good if you can if you can tame it. But I haven't been able to tame it. I don't think it's necessarily better than, you know, the top of the, the classes. But it's one of those cars, again, it's another, you know, one that Bruffy goes on about where you say, well, I've got to figure out what all the hubbub's about. And I still haven't figured out what the hubbub's about. I've used it on, I've used this car, not this car, but I've used... And other Itali GTs or rentals on uh, when, when customs are turned off, I've, I've had them with good effect because I think they still have a higher top end than some of the other ones. But that's this is a car I could get rid of, but I'm not going to because it's just and it is pretty. It is definitely pretty. Uh, Z type's not going anywhere. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, look at it. Sipping some more seltzer so I don't start coughing. <coughs> Didn't work. That's all I'm going to say. Look at it. Had the highest top speed in the game for a long time. People thought it was the uh, the adder. Nope, it was this. The Monroe! Other than the Ted Knight reference and the fact that, you know, it's another another Bruffy love I, I kept this because there was, used to be so many Monroe races. On the channel, I think I have a matchbox. This is this color kind of as well, and yeah, again, another beautiful car. It's another case of look at it. It's that's why it's parked next to the Bugatti because they're both just beautiful cars that may never leave the garage, but they're they're here and they're they're, they're going to be here to stay. The Bestia, the Bestia is one that I I'm still trying to figure out what to do with. It's kind of ended up in a blue. I was going to repaint this, and then, you know, then I had to get rid of my... Well, I haven't really gotten rid of it yet. I still have my Taurus, but the Taurus is no longer roadworthy. It's now storage in the backyard. It's a storage container. It's, it's a wheeled storage container. And, um... So I keep it. It's, it's a little bit brighter blue than my, my full with this. I haven't done enough, but the best yet... I always love this kind of shooting brake kind of look to it. I'm gonna, I've driven this every once in a while. We're, we're gonna drive it some more. Do 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 do. I'm getting tired. Are we to the? Yep, Mad Wayne T. That that should be the Hoobies garage, right? I don't think anything's leaving that. So we're just gonna, we're gonna just keep plowing through these until we get to Mays Bank. And then maybe when we get to Mays Bank, we'll sell one. I don't know. You've seen there's no parking. Like, I've got no free spaces. Yeah, I think Mad Wayne. Is this... Yeah, I think this is the Hoovies Garage Garage. Yep, yep, yep. So you got this one here. That's, yeah, Carbon is there. That's based off of his 599. The Zeroso was the closest I could get to his Mercy because it's the only open top one you have, so it's the right color. Um, I think he might, I don't know if, he may still have this. I know he sold this. Um, there's his, uh, 25th anniversary. Kuntosh, homage. This also is an homage to the one from GTA Vice City, so that's not going anywhere. The purple rolls. You know what this is, this, the Enos Super Diamond. Yeah, he had uh, the purple, the purple Rolls Royce. This is Midnight Purple. Don't know if I made it purple enough, but that's his... He doesn't have that anymore either. Oh, Riptide Blue. The Granger 3600 LX with uh, Imani Tech, I think. I think this has, I know it has Imani Tech armor. I don't remember if it has mines or it might have the missile lock on jammer. I don't know if it has weapons. I, I forget. It doesn't have the guns on it. Or does it? Yes, it does. I think those are guns right there. So, yeah, this is fully Yamani teched up, and it's as close as I could make to, like, what I think was his Riptide Blue. There's the whole famous Riptide Blue thing. 
I'm not. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna put the uh, the clips in again. If you look up the build on this, you can see all the whole Riptide Blue thing. Riptide Blue staying. This is a. Is this a Dubsta two? It is. This is a Dubsta two, and I forget how I even got this. There's something funky about when, how we got this Dubsta two. What was the story on it? Did we win this? Was there a no? You know, it might have been the thing where you had a, a rare case where you could buy it in Simeons. And I did because it's a Dubsta two, and you can just spawn other Dubsta twos, the gold and the and the silver. And that was the only way I got a Dubsta two on this character. So now I finally have a Dubsta two. So I put it here because periodically he gets a G wagon. You know, if you don't know who I'm talking about, Hoovy here, uh, Tyler Hoover, look him up. The dumbest automotive channel on YouTube is what he claims it to be, and at times, at times, you know, his decision making processes aren't the best, but. He's very friendly, and it's a very, very enjoyable thing. There's, there's a whole... He has built an entire community out in Kansas of uh, of car YouTubers, and they all get along very well, and they're all very personable, and it's, it's, it's cool stuff. So he gets one of those. This is... What was the actual car? Is this, yeah, it's the Masakro. This, is, this Masakro is an homage to a... Uh, and Aston Martin, I think it was, that, that, that all three of the Car Trek YouTubers have owned it at different times. I don't know if he still owns it, it at this point. Maybe it's no longer owned by a Car Trek YouTuber. Which, you know, that's the thing. You, know, you got Ed Bolian and Freddy Tavares Hernandez, the other two Car Trek YouTubers, all of them had owned the same car. It passed from hand to hand to hand. And when you're doing that with Aston Martins, you know you're in a you're in an elite group there. But you have to have a Masakra, number one. It's a good car. And I'm glad I have it. This this comes out every once in a while. It's it's just fun, good to drive. That's Dan. Uh, yes, Hubie actually bought uh, like a version of this car. It's similar, not the show car, but one of the production ones. There's a it's a McLaren. That's staying, obviously. It's a this also they may have faux mode this one. Let's, did they? I think this is also a FOMO. Two-door FOMO extravaganza. No, no, we can still get the SM722 or whatever you call it. All right. It's not FOMO, but it's $2 million and it's not going anywhere. And the Rapid. Right, is that the Rapid GT? Rapid GT. It's, this is just... This is from the days when they tried to make the cars look unique so they wouldn't get sued. Now they don't care. But yet Rockstar didn't care anymore. But it's, it seemed like it was a Who BS car. I needed something to put here. You have to have a Rapid GT, as far as I'm concerned. It's, it's just too iconic. So we put it here. I think Hoovy would like it. Especially in purple. And this one, the Clique Wagon, uh, again, another, he had a Woody Wagon. I think he may have sold that already. Another homage. Could I get rid of this? Yeah, but it, it does look nice. And we're just decorating the garage for as often as I come out here. Now I'm just really looking forward to getting to where it says Maze Bank, because that's going to be its own video. Private Yacht! There's nothing to look at on the private yacht to sell at Maze Bank West. Ah. So, this is where we're going to wrap it up, gang, because it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Is it 2 o'clock in the morning yet? It's 1.58. I am tired. And we're going to, we're going to call this video good. You can see these are all cars... I held them all. They all held joy. Some of them more than others. But none were joyless enough that I wanted to sell them off and make a get a parking space when I really have nothing planned yet. I'm just trying to go through everything and get a plan for in case someday I want to buy a car. If that makes any kind of sense. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, when we go through Maze Bank, and that will not be tonight, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.